Hello, Chris Winard here with Angle and Voker's Yachting. And here I am in the Coronado Cays, San Diego area, looking at Flying Tiger number 118, the very last Flying Tiger built. She's in beautiful condition. And I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough of the boat for your information. If you're familiar with Flying Tigers, this has the, the uh, retractable sprit, painted, not carbon. Mast has been painted as not carbon, it's blue. Uh, the hull stripes are blue, going away from the standard Flying Tiger blue, uh, red program. The boat is in turnkey condition, has new north sails, well, new north main and main, main and jib, and a fresh spinnaker. Uh, halyards are all updated and new. You've got a Raymarine instruments on the mast. Get there. Hull has been polished, well maintained. Standard flying tiger cockpit with the backstay on the floor. One of the main things that if you're looking at a flying tiger you need to know is that if you have a boat with the Betts rudder, which is what that is, and tiller, that is a huge plus. The cassette rudders were pretty awful, I know, because I used to have one of these boats, and you will find that uh, the Betts rudder is just a game changer. We did a lot of research on it, and it was just a, it's just a fantastic rudder. Up in a board. This boat has, I believe, the only uh, cassette outboard. Instead of the trap door, or the Bombay door, or whatever they used to call it, or they used to call it, this boat has the trap door, or the cassette that it drops down in, the props in it, it's flush. Uh, you may lose a little top end speed, but it, um, it really is a nice to have the door come up and not have to worry about the hinge and all the other stuff that flying tigers can go wrong. Got your uh, control cables here for sort of like an inboard outboard arrangement. It's pretty nice. All hardware is pretty much new. Going down below. This boat doesn't have any cockpit cushions or interior cushions that I know of. Dehumidifier running. Here's your new north jib. Spinnaker up in the four peak. The boat sails on the you know, local club races, so they're always ready to go. Ocean blue performance bags. GPS, your Ray Marine, your DU. One nice thing you can see about this boat compared to pretty much every other Flying Tiger, uh, or most of them, is there's no rust coming out of this. And this is because when it was new, well, first delivered, they sealed the keel. Sealed the keel and water doesn't get into the mechanism down there. Safety gear, life jackets, Here's your uh, electrical panel. Pretty easy, simple stuff. I'm not 100% sure what that means. More life jackets, fuel tank. You know, one of the things, the fuel tanks on these boats originally came in to, in a way that you couldn't remove them without taking the engine out. It seemed like a bit of a design flaw, so having an external uh, fuel tank is a big plus. Sprit. And your porta potty. Extra spinnakers. So north is the one out. The uh, Ullman is a, I believe a V5. Uh, sorry, a V4, which is a sail that actually helped design and uh, or develop, and is a pretty nice sail. The north are just you know a little rounder better better uh, shape in my opinion
floorboards are clean. Basically, as it's the last boat built, uh, it's just in fantastic condition. It's been well looked after, as I said. Um, you really can't get a better flying tire than this. Uh, the only downside would be if you wanted to trailer it, but you can break the fairing and put it on a trailer. There are sometimes trailers available, but uh, if you wanted to transport it, you could transport it with a keel down and put it in, or your, you know, any arrangements can be made. But this is, once again, Flying Tiger 118, Thunderstruck is the name. And you can reach me at England Volkers Yachting. I'll put the links down below to the ad, the uh, remainder of the photos. And you can reach me at 619-987-7331. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.